Alrighty, guys, what is going on, all you beautiful people? It is E, it's the Big E. This is the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel, and this is Finn. This is our Dwarf Hunter. We are in uh, Gadget Sand. We are in Tenaris, and I'll catch you up really quick. Didn't do a whole lot off camera, but I did had to. Uh, I did had to. I did had to do some running around. Um, -da 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 -da. so I went to Booty Bay. Because uh, we had a quest to turn in there for the robot chicken thing. It was no reward or a minimal amount of silver. Uh, and I just came back over here. Um, wait. I went to Stormbunner Iron Forge because I needed uh, the legit auction house, not like the black uh, market auction house here in Gadget Sand. Um I, they're linked, but um, you can't see things from there. But whatever you sell something, you get money back. You guys know what the deal is. Anyway, um, I made some notes here, so let's see. Uh, 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 while I was there, um, oh, well, I don't know if you remember last episode uh, when we leveled up. I was like, I'm not going to forget to spend a talent point. You are. I remember I said that, and then I forgot to do it. So let me show you. We got Bestial Wrath. I've been trying to get down here for a while. Uh, I just, you know, you didn't miss anything. I opened this up and I clicked here. Anyway, this sends your pet into a rage, causing 50% additional damage for 18 seconds. While in rage, he does not feel pity, or remorse, or fear, and cannot be stopped unless it is killed. It's a two-minute CD. So I've got this down here on the rotation bar now. Also, you might notice I changed the interface up. It's very minimalistic. Um, I don't actually need this macro anymore. We have this on. I'm going to have this on all my characters. I love it. And I also have an add-on that completely hides this log over here. It's called Hide Chat Button, if you guys are interested in. Because I like I liked this look. I like it really clean like this. And these buttons here, I just have... Um, it's a visibility option. Let me show you. Uh, it's like bar two. This is bartender. All kinds of stuff. I never really played with this before. But you can choose fade out. And you can have a delay. You can have for how much. So... Uh, yeah, I like that a lot. Uh, I do. That minimalistic look. Anyway, I put a whole bunch of stuff on the auction house. I mean a lot. It looks like we uh, we either sold stuff. I think I put it up for two days, so these are probably sales. Also, um, I messed with leatherworking a little bit. I was able to make this. This blue... Um, uh, this blue epic item right here and i had all the leather i had the wolf hide i basically had everything except for a few wicked claws you see right here and i just bought a couple of these and they were super cheap so i made one of these up and i did post it i can't remember what i posted uh i put it up for uh yeah but now we are up to 240 even and i'm going to try to save the rest of our mats because we're going to be going to searing gorge and I'm going to try to find the elemental leather worker, Sarah Tanner. Now, from what I read online, it's kind of a mix. It kind of says she's in Stormwind, but most other places say she's in Searing Gorge. So I'm going to try Searing Gorge first. Um, uh, other than that, um, is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's all I did. Uh, and we are back here. So <clears throat> first things first, let's check our mail. Okay. Well, we just made six in a piece. We sold uh, Aquamarine. You can see right there, about three gold. We sold some Scorpid Scales. We'll take that. Got a whole bunch of other stuff over there. I bought a couple more stacks of bullets. I don't want to run out. We, we have two levels to go. I'm hoping this will get us close. Because at level 55, we're going to upgrade to the Wicked Arrows. And we're going to move this stuff up here. I posted all kinds of stuff, boys. All kinds of stuff on the auction house. I would like to get this. Um, what are we currently rocking? What's our legs? 14 and 15. I wouldn't mind this. We'll see. Anyway, we have a quest to find... Um, where is it? Is this guy? Yes. It's called the Sunken Temple, but it says find Marvin Rivet Seeker in Tenaris. 
Um, it just says he is. He was last known to have left his home in Ratchet to study the troll ruins in Tenaris. Good luck finding him. He hasn't been heard from in some time. Now, I think we ran into this guy. Isn't this the guy? Uh, I think he's here. I think this is the guy I saw, and I was calling him the wrong name. But we're going to head this way. And see if we can find this guy. And then other than that, we've got to do some traveling for some other quests. So let's go see if we can find him. And what we might do is take... Depending on if we get a follow-up for this, but we're basically done in this area, I'm pretty sure. We've out-leveled it quite a bit. Um, we may do a very long epic... How did I aggro that? Dude, I'm 12 levels above you. <laughs> oh, it's a starving one. Yeah. I have a theory that star anything that's starving in the game has a much, much higher aggro radius. Here's my fishing button up here as well. Anyway, we might do a super long epic flying uh, video up to... We need to get to Winter Spring, but so we'll probably go to Ashenvale. And then uh, I think that's the quickest way up. We have to go up through what you call it. Ashenvale, then we have to go up through Fellwood to get into Winter Spring. So it might be an uneventful episode, but we just had one of those on uh, Mountain as well. Did a lot of running around. I think this, yeah, here he is. Marvin Rivet Seeker. Look at me remembering stuff. All right, let's check in with our boy here. What's up? What's going on? Let's move this up a little bit. Well, that's good. I know, I know. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. My home is actually in Ratchet, but after crashing my Zeppelin here, I thought I might as well start the research I came here to do. Okay. Sunken Temple. Yes, the Sunken, the sunken Temple. I can say that I have seen it with my own eyes. Perhaps you'd like to hear more about it? Sure. You look like the adventurous type. I know things that may intrigue you. 5,300 XP? Give me that. I once entered the foreboding chambers of the sunken temple. The, the evil in that place penetrates all that enter. I barely managed to find my way out. Wading through the ooze that now covers the floors, all I can remember is stumbling through a large circular room filled with serpent statues. Recently, I discovered a round stone that appears to have the same serpent symbol imprinted on it. I had it packed up and shipped to my workshop in Ratchet. Retrieve it, and I might be able to tell you more. Seven, uh, yeah, 7,000 XP for that. From the workshop in Ratchet. Yeah, we're just, we're rolling all over the place. Okay, well, Ratchet, that's right there. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to fly up to Ratchet. And then we'll probably just continue right on up to Ashenvale and we'll just take a run. I'll do some super... I'm not sure if... I, that's a long way. I'm not sure if I should do like the uh, the fast forward uh, with some uh, copyright free music for you guys or just do a complete edit magic where I snap my fingers and boom, we're there. It's been a while since we've had uh, since we did any uh, epic music stuff, and I know you guys love it. We hate it. We hate it when you do that, YouTube boy. We can't stand it when you fast forward and put some really corny, cheesy music on there. Is that what you guys are saying? <laughs> oh man. All right, well, we're going to fly up to Ratchet. Mm -mm -mm. I think I'll, I'll do a little fast forward to Ratchet. It's not that far. The run that we have to do is quite a distance, though. All right, boys. Going to do some, uh, yeah, we'll do some uh, YouTube uh, video thing here, music that you like it. Anyway, Hello. I will check back in with you at ratchet and we'll make a decision on whether to continue the fast forward or if i'll just edit that part out anybody uh boys a one a two skiddly diddly do
Alrighty, guys. We are back. Let's go check. Uh, let's go check his hut here. I think it's over here. Got a quest over here. Live Rizzle Fix. Also, I want to welcome a new subscriber. We have a new subscriber. I'm not sure who it is, but uh, it might be Tree and Cactus. If it's you, Tree and Crack. Uh, tree and cactus thank you very much if it's not whoever you are i appreciate you i surely do welcome to the misty mountain gaming family you can choose to have your subscription stay private so i can't always see if we get a new sub uh anyway let's check in welcome, friend. with liz hi there no marvin sure isn't here and he won't be back for quite some time actually i am getting a little little worried about him while well, i just spoke to him Hope he gets back soon. A large chest arrived for him, and it's too heavy for me to lug it inside. I had to leave it out by the door. That must be what we need. Being an apprentice to Marvin Rivet Seeker, I've learned so much. But he's going to be gone for such a long time now, so I think I'm going to work on some experiments of my own. You should do that. And I don't like that you're bigger than me, so I'm going to shrink you down a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to get... There. Now look how tall we are, guys. At least a quarter of an inch. I've been reading about Angora Crater most recently and about the strange volcanic activity going on in the middle of the crater. I think a lot could be learned if I could just get some of the ash from the elementals there. Ah, I was wondering when we would have a specific quest for those things. Do you think you'd mind collecting some for me if you're going that way? Sure, we'll do that for uh, almost the gold and uh, 8,000 uh, XP. So where is this chest? Here it is right here. I like that there wasn't a big um, question mark on it. All right. Stone circlet. Interesting. What does that look like? That's what it looks like. Looks like that. All right. So now I got to make a decision, guys. Well, we could go back to Ngoro Crater. But I do need to get the flight points uh, up north. Um, ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> all right, what are we going to do here? We need to get to Winter Spring. The only way to do that, that I know of, because I have no, I don't know if, is there an Alliance flight path in here? I know there are several in retail, but this isn't retail, boys. All right, I'm going to go to Ashender, uh, Astronar. And we're going to, this is how you get up to Fellwood. And then through Fellwood, we run all the way up here. And then you have to run through here. I think I'm going to do that. Um, actually, hold on. Where's the Hearthstone? Is it still? It's Gadget Sand. Change the plan. I'll do that off camera. That is a lot of running. That is going to be very boring. I'll just do that off camera. Probably take at least a half an hour or more to do that. What we're going to do... What are we doing on time? Yeah, we got plenty of time here. We're going to go give the, um, the item back to Marvin. And now that we have a quest, another quest in a girl crater for the elementals, we'll be focusing on that. Guys, moonwalk. Did you see that? Yeah, we'll take this back to old Marv. And uh, he probably will have a follow-up for uh, Atal Hakar or the Sunken Temple and may or may not pick it up. I don't know. I'm a little kind of dissuaded from picking up any dungeon quests at this point just because of the trouble I've had trying to uh, get a group together for ZF. He's like, look at those pieces of meat. Uh, 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 yeah, we'll go ahead, head back into a girl crater, pick up some ashes for our little uh, it, uh, inventor friend there. Now, what I don't know about this add-on, this hide chat, if it's, if I get a whisper, I wonder if I'll get like a little alert. Uh, maybe I should look at the settings. Because it would be nice to get maybe like a whisper. Hey, you want to do ZF? Or hey, you want to blah, blah, blah? Yo! Yo! Uh, 
Here we go. Okay, Ratch is not far from uh, here, Finn. The journey shouldn't take long. I already did it, brother. Already did it. Yes, this is the stone. Good. It's all coming back to me now, Finn. <laughs> all right. We'll take that uh, right 7K XP into the depths. Yeah, both of these are probably inside the temple. Uh, okay, yeah, I can't. Not gonna do that. Man, that's a lot of XP, though. <laughs> Glad I could help. Uh, what is this one? Sunken temple. Okay, yeah, right sunken temple. Um, should I just pick those up? I think I'm just gonna pick them up. Yeah, let's just um, do that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Let's take that and this one. I'm just going to pick these up because we do have stuff to do over there. Wait, what else did we get there? Or do we get there? Where is it? Oh, that's interesting. I wonder what that is. I wonder what that could be. All right. All right, boys. We're going to roll over to Ungaro Crater. And uh, do we have time to fight elementals? We might. We might have time to head to the volcano. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting into a dungeon, doing some DPS, and uh, maybe getting lucky with a drop or so, or two even. But uh, it's tough. We coming up on the two year anniversary here of the uh, of classics re release. It was August twenty sixth. I'll never forget it. It was on my birthday, guys. It was on my birthday, August twenty sixth, two thousand nineteen. The not only did classic release. But the new Tool album came out. That it, it had been like 16 years since a Tool album came out. Where in the hell am I going? It was a good day. It was a happy birthday for me. <laughs> and I didn't do anything but listen to that Tool album and play Warcraft. Actually, I was, uh, I was with uh, my friend Karen. Well, we were dating at the time. Uh, we probably went out to dinner, or she probably made something delicious. She is an awesome cook. She probably made something delicious for me. For us, I should say. I'm pretty good. How you doing, Barra Stonehammer? Yeah, I'll see you soon. Yeah, not many quests in the quest log. We've got some dungeon quests. We just have a lot of running around to do. So, um, yeah, that um, winter-spring journey, I'm just going to... I'll get up there is what I'll do. I'll grab any flight paths. I don't think there's any flight paths for Alliance um, and Fellwood, but I'm not sure. I'll check. If there's one, it might be way up north. I know where they are in retail. There's one like kind of midish way, and then one up north. But I don't think there's any in TBC, classic, whatever. I'm not sure though. Anyway, I'll just get up to Winter Spring most likely. We actually have a quest to turn in right as you go into Winter Spring. I'll probably start the episode there. Uh, I think it's Donovan or Donna, somebody. Uh, I think I'll start the episode there, and then we'll make our way uh, to the east into Winter Spring popper, um, uh, proper. Yeah, we'll go kill a few of these. Let's track this. Let's do that. Volcanic activity. That's what it. That's what she wants. Fire elementals. Doesn't say anything specific. Eighty-five silver. Sure, we'll do that. Need nine samples of the ash. We haven't even had BT out, have we? 
Let's get him out. There's our boy. There he is right there. I made a bunch of fish up off camera. Um, while I was in Booty Bay, after I turned in that quest for the robot chicken, I spent some time just fishing there because I, I like to always have food on us for BT and I. I caught a whole bunch of spotted ye yellowtail. You can fish them up there. Also fished up some cod... Fished up a lot of rock scale, rock scale cod. They are a lot lower level than these. I just chucked them in the bank. But we have plenty of food. That is one of the benefits of fishing. Uh, we're going to throw this on our uh, two-hander here. I don't know if any of these elementals are casters. If they are, we're going to... Oh, never mind. Never mind. I'm thinking a mountain. I'm thinking we could interrupt, but we can't. This is thin. Greetings. There you go. There's Rocky Rose. Is that a pally? It's a warrior. The guild New Frontier. I've seen that guild a few times. Yeah, we may switch over to the two-handers, though, because those are super quick weapons. I do love... I love the feel of a fast two-handed weapon, or uh, single-handed weapon, the dual-wield aspect of it. Oh, hello there. Uh, I think it's also slightly more DPS, unless it's a beast. If it's a beast, this two-handed axe does more DPS because it's like plus 73... Uh, attack power when fighting beasts, but these aren't beasts, so we'll probably switch over to the two-handers. What do I got? What am I working out today? Today is a back day. Today's back day. I don't mind doing back day. I usually do some deadlifts. I'll do some bent over rows. I'll do some lat work. Uh, jump off that. Yeah, let's switch over to... Or two-handers. Put BT on them. I don't know why we can get our stings. It does nature damage, right? Yeah, I thought elementals were... resistant to nature damage. I've always thought that, but uh, we've seen several elementals where the, I can sting them. Yeah, I don't know. We're standing in the fire. All right, we already got some in Core of Elements. Sounds like it would sell, but I'm not sure. Probably does. Let's get a food buff up. Also, uh, yeah, you know this. When I was leveling up our two-handed axe skill, I we got a... Um, when we're killing the hyenas and Tenaris, it's a good source of this tender wolf steak. Even though they're not wolves. But uh, yeah, if you guys ever want the tender wolf or the tender wolf meat, the uh, those hyenas in um, Tenaris will drop them. Pretty good drop rate, too. There's a caster. Some burning pitch. I like the drop rate so far. Oh boy, I didn't mean to click that. Oh, we're gonna miss rapid killing, aren't we? Yeah, we got it. I think we missed it. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm loving the, the minimalistic view here without all the stuff on the screen, especially since I use 
I use these bars here. I always drag them up in the middle because it's easier for me. But I've never liked the way that it looks. It's just convenient. I feel a little bit better about having that stuff up there now. I think I need to switch these two. And that's going to really mess me up now, probably. I'll probably switch this back in two kills. <laughs> Let's put a heal on our boy here. That does quite a bit of damage, that Scorch. Essence of Fire! There's also a quest... I may be thinking of Searing Gorge. Where you have... Like a goblin gives you some kind of temperature reading device and you have to come near these... These hot plumes or whatever. And take readings. You're trying to find the hottest place. I don't know if it's here. But it just jarred my memory when I saw this thing. That's We're five for five on these um, items. The Enguro Ash. Missed it again. Terrible hunter. The worst. The worst hunter on the server. BT is a beast. Also, guys, I'm going to be... Um, I've made up my mind to... Uh, as far as the... Um, the Undead Mage on our Specialist Challenge, I'm going to be releasing the videos uh, twice a week on Fridays and Tuesdays at 12 a.m. Mountain Time. If anybody is interested. I was thinking about just doing it once a week, but um, I... I should be able to easily handle uh, two a week. So you get uh, you get Mountain and Finn at 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. Mountain Central Time. And then uh, Fridays and Tuesdays, I'll do the, uh, the Specialist Challenge with Voodoo. He just threw something down on me. I gotta watch BT's health here. These things, they hit for quite a bit. Yeah, let's keep uh, let's keep him healed up, and let's have some uh, morning glory dew. We just need one more. Boy, I'm I'm not used to uh, one kill, one drop. <laughs> I'm not used to that at all. It's a little off-putting. But it's... Uh, we're either getting really fortunate with uh, the drops, or it's just a really high drop rate. It's a little bit weird how I can't see this stuff, but... Um, you can also set it to where after you hover over it and you click off, you can set the fade to gradually fade out. And I tried it like that, but it, it looked a little bit too weird for me. Good XP for these things, too. All right, we are uh, we're done with that, boys. Let's head back to... Uh, we need to go north, don't we? Yes, we do. That's a pretty high level one right there. Yeah, so we'll see. Uh, we'll go give this back to... This has got to go back to Gadget San.
Yeah, I'm just trying to think of the best way to do the... So you guys aren't bored watching me fly for 20 minutes or run all the way up through Fellwood. Anything that's quest-related, I try to get on camera, and especially if we're going to level. But um, like the Booty Bay thing, it was a green quest. And it was just back and forth, so I I didn't I didn't record it, but she didn't miss anything at all. Um, but yeah, I'll have to give it some thought. We may start the episode next episode, like I said, we may just be in Winter Spring, or I'll start it there with uh, Donovan, whatever her name is. We do have a quest down there by one of those hot pools, and then we'll go to Winter Spring. But I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see what happens. You guys will know. You guys will find out when the episode comes out, won't you? Getting all kinds of chased. Nice driving. My head's itchy. Won't you take a shower? I just took a shower last week. All right? I just showered. It's like it was yesterday, except it was last week. That's a lie. That's a lie. I shower every day. All right, boys. We're going to call it here. Uh, let's fade me on off of the camera. Let's do that. All right, I appreciate you guys. I surely do. An uneventful episode, but those happen. I'll try to uh, pick the pace up. Anyway, I appreciate you. I surely do. Mr. BT, Mr. Finn, and myself. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Till we meet again. Peace.